This is two-year-old Iris. She loves to run. Do you like adventure? Yeah. <laughs> oh God, he ran away sometimes. He ran away sometimes. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Did she ever? On Thursday morning, Iris, her sister, her grandma Gayla J, and their dogs went for a trail walk in the Malala River Recreation Area. Partway in, Iris started running. And Iris just kept running, and she wouldn't stop. And she vanished. Uh, the trail split off into multiple directions. Gayla didn't know which way Iris went. Oh, I was very worried and very scared. With no cell service, Gayla went to the road and flagged down strangers. Several loggers stopped, called 911, and joined the search. Clackamas County Sheriff's deputies closed the road. That's when Tammy Stevens happened by on her horse, Bo, with her dogs, Maddie and Wilson. Soon they were searching for Iris. Where they were was really dangerous. Tammy broke away from search crews and followed her gut. And then I hear it, and it's a whimper. It was little Iris. Tammy could hear her, but couldn't see her. Iris was perched on a steep incline about 70 feet above. I said, Wilson, go find her, and he's just bounding. And he just, I mean, it's straight up. He's just leaping. Tammy tied Bo to a tree, then climbed and pulled her way up. I just followed Wilson, and he was, you know, laying with his little front paws on her lap. She had her little hand on him, and she's crying, just sobbing. And, oh, God, it was best moment of my life, truly. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Was it nice to see Wilson the dog? Yeah. That make you know you had been found? Yeah. She was cold, so I just held her till she warmed up, and quite frankly, I caught my breath. They hiked back to the staging area, and along the way met logger Dave. He helped carry Iris and radio deputies from his truck. We were having juice on the picnic table when they showed. Soon, Iris was back in Grandma's arms. She... You make me cry. She's my heart. The end of a two-hour adventure and a day. Best day of my life. None of them. I'm very grateful. Will ever forget. Gayla says she'll continue to take her granddaughters out for walks in the woods, but from now on, Iris will always carry a whistle. In Malala, Catherine Cook, KGW News.